Thought I heard the old man say, Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Tomorrow ye will get your pay, and it's time for us to leave her. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is long and the winds don't blow And it's time for us to leave her Oh, the wind was foul and the sea ran high Leave her, Johnny, leave her She shifted green and none went by And it's time for us to leave her Leave her, Johnny, leave her Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her For the voyage is long and the winds don't blow And it's time for us to leave her I hate to sail on this rotten tub Leave her, Johnny, leave her No grog allowed and rotten grub And it's time for us to leave her Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is long and the winds don't blow. And it's time for us to leave her. We swear by our oat for want of more. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. But now we're through, so we'll go on shore And it's time for us to leave her Leave her, Johnny, leave her Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her For the voyage is long and the winds don't blow And it's time for us to leave her Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Celestial Howl! Oh my god, this has been a huge project coming. Hello, I am your captain speaking, Nessie, and here we go. We are now going to be doing the official, 
the official improv session. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that everyone knows what's going on. Um, I do have a five minute episode of the, I guess it's the episode zero of yes, Mick Mick. Yes. Oz, all the Oz at this moment. Um, so just so everyone knows, I do have a five minute, uh, I guess, what, what would you call it? A five minute, uh, audio on my YouTube channel. It was my first very audio ever. Can't say it's my best. I would have to say I definitely want to redo it in the future, but it kind of gives the start of the celestial howl. <clears throat> okay. Getting to that bit, Zeta. Fuck you. Okay. Fuck you. Gotta say that to my mod right then and there. Um, Zeta's also in this. Um, so just so that everyone knows, uh, it is a longer episode. On my Patreon, if you are 18 plus and you subscribe to the 18 plus, um, <coughs> excuse me, I have a lot of stuff in my throat. If you subscribe to the 18 plus, uh, whatever it's called in Patreon, uh, patronage, whatever, uh, you get access to the 23-minute episode that is NSFW. That's not necessarily canon. And, oh, we'll, we'll explain the whole tidbit around that because it does come in handy. And it does give some backstory to mine and Zeta's. Yeah, uh, it's Zeta's character in that uh, audio. Um, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mind you, let me let me put a disclaimer here. I wrote that series, that episode, recorded it, and then started thinking of the rest of the series. So when I created Severus Lansing, who is Zeta's character, I didn't have Zeta in mind when I created said character. <laughs> And I just figured, hey, I'm going to put them all together. And that's what's happened. Um, and then weeks later, Zeta, Pebbles, and I had this realization of, oh, fuck, that's who that is. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> so I'm going to bring the crew in. Today, what I have with me, I have uh, Phoenix Audio who is playing a bad guy in uh, this uh, improv session. I have Zeta, who is playing Severus Lansing, and I have Val ZVA, who is playing um, Corsair Rimler. So two big characters, and of course, I'm playing Captain Astaria herself. Um, so yeah, let me bring in the rest of the crew. Hello, everyone! Oh. I was not expecting to hear that yet because. <laughs> Were you not ready? <laughs> I know I was ready. I was just listening along on the Twitch and then like you overlapped yeah, yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Let's bring happy. everyone in here. I even said I was bringing everyone in here. Yeah, We're but, professionals, but I promise. That was it's a little bit delayed for us. Gotta get better, delayed, Zeta. But, Gotta get better. Yeah. I'm oh, I during the little tidbit, it may have gone longer than expected, only because I may have forgotten to eat today. And today, oh, on top of it, before I go anywhere, we are doing a uh last minute drunk stream tonight, and we're playing a uh, drunk among us among a bunch of us. So. You'll get to see Val and I get mega fucking shwasted later on. That should be fun. Fun fact, Val has to go to church after that stream. And he has D&D &D tonight. <laughs> I'll, I'll be staying over this time. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be fun. Oh, it's going to be fun. Oh, hell yeah. Side note, I'm eating cheesecake on the side, so ignore my munches. I'm hungry. Nice, nice. So, how this is gonna go, um, ironically, I've re- I, I, yeah, mukbang section- section? Section? What? Um, English, <laughs> yeah, Vanessa, English. 
Yeah, mukbang yeah. sex. That's what we're doing. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Athena, no, you cannot eat my cheesecake. You heathen. Fuck off. I'm a professional. Oh, my um, friends are heathens. Take it. It's love. Da -da <laughs> get away, you cat! <laughs> okay, so now that I'm back, how this is gonna go? We have a sheet up on our screens, of course, of a timeline. You guys, of course, can't see this. I did the same thing with House Sanguinus. Um, also. Before anything, we are doing a I part three. Lost the timeline. <sighs> Yay. Someone link it to him. Please. It's in the it's in the writing document. Fuck. Hang on. Mm-hmm. And it's the same am one I, as House and Whiteness. <clears throat> am I saying loud enough for you for you to hear it? <sighs> So, there, there's a specific. There are two lines in this whole thing. They are not necessarily canon, and I put them in a different color. And Zaya is sighing at them. No, I'm saying the fact that I'm saying the fact that he doesn't have the document. Oh, um, like always. I thought you were talking about that. No, I have to. I, I, I sighed enough at that when we were originally going over the the document. For the love of God, can someone just send me the link? I'm too stupid to find this. Because <laughs> but, but when I'm we were originally right. going over it, it didn't say that. And I saw you change it. <laughs> I watched you change it. <laughs> oh, I'm overheating now. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, finally, somebody <laughs> sent my boomer ass the link. Yes, I did. But, um, anyways. What it says is not necessarily canon. Severus and Ness fuck. <laughs> um. I forgot about this shit. Forgot. So this is gonna be fun. <clears throat> uh, so that's what we're working with. Um. But yeah, uh, part one or bit one is uh. There we are. I need to have this music up just a little. <laughs> okay, we have uh, we have pirate music in the background, which is fun. Um. Hey, Shelly. Um, part one is, uh, the bad guys. That's where we're starting. Um, I need to get my screen up and working. There we go. I need my dual screens working so I could see. <clears throat> Cause, uh, mama's blind. There we go. Okay. So here we go. We're gonna get started. Enjoy! Uh, I don't know how this is gonna work. I don't know how well this is gonna go, and this might just be a total clusterfuck. We will see. Yep. Everyone ready? Right. Yep. Um, mm. Let's go. I'm gonna turn down the music just a little bit more. Okay. <clears throat> and here we go. Action! What the fuck? Where, where the hell am I? Am I, am I chained? Uh, oh, fuck. Great. Well, whoever has me captured, hopefully either they let me live or they give me a quick death then.
Okay, no, I can't. I no, I can't let them get away with this. No, I gotta get these chains off. No. Uh. 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 <sighs> Great. <clears throat> it's no use. Hello? Well, looks like we have a pirate finally. Uh... Leave the bus guards. I need to speak to the whelp myself. And who are you? I am Commander Catalina. I have a proposition for you, pirate. Guess I have no choice but to listen, so I guess I'm all ears. So, here's what I can offer you. I think you have a an acquaintance, or no an acquaintance of mine. A certain Captain Nastaria. Yes, I've heard of them, and I know of them. What about them? I think you know more. You see, I have witnesses who state that you actually have had run-ins with the captain. Yes, but I will be honest, there's been some run-ins I've had. At least you're being honest. That's a quite a bit of a shock, saying that you are a pirate. Um, hmm. So. I want her head. The king has instructed me and ensured that I need her head. And I need it within the next week. I have a okay. feeling you know where she is. Well, maybe I do. Maybe I don't. What would I get out of this? Because I'm not going to go and just kill somebody if I'm not getting anything out of it. Your freedom? And? Hmm. I could give you a new ship. Maybe a new crew? And all the riches that you could ever want? Uh, fine. You got a deal, then. Wonderful. A guard will be down here to let you out, and we will give you a ship temporarily. Let's hope. You don't fuck this up this time. She Ready? walks off. I went to get my hands on that. Or on them again. Okay, crew, we have a few more days, a few more days, until we get to the last place that that brig was seen. You guys get 24 hours here, and after that, everyone meet back on the ship, please. I just, we need some time off, okay? Giving you this 24 hours, after that. Come back, please. Please don't come back drunk, for the love of God. Just, please. Dismissed. Uh, 
Oh. I am so glad that they're gone, to be honest. Oh. At least you're still here, Corsair. Seb. Hello. Uh, what do you two want to do? I am down for anything right now. I'm just the town nearby. I guess we can go down there, see what they have to sell. I know I need to get supplies. There's a few things I'd like to pick up as well. Mm. So, I guess we're heading to town. Lovely. Okay. I'll um, make sure you guys gather whatever you need. I'll meet you off the ship. Also, he just—he uh, doesn't really do much. Just grabs his equipment with him, holsters them on the side, and walks out first. Uh, Seb, uh, walks up to Corsair and asks, Hey, do you, do you think it'd be nice if we could get something for the captain? Like a gift? I don't really care right now, um, but you do you. Yeah, if you think it'll make it better. Honestly, I'd rather get something to eat, something to drink, other than whatever it is they were giving us down in the break room. Yeah, sure, I could do it for drink. It's been a it's been a long day. I concur that. Nastaria yells from the bottom of the ship. I want a big, tall beer, and some delicious, delicious food from here. There, there's a bar down the way. By the way. Should we refer to the way then? Guess follow me. Uh, Seb, Seb follows uh, ne the captain of the ship. Of course, Seb follows right now. Do you think we should buy something for everyone? Huh. Some of these things look really nice. But, oh, they're expensive. Yeek. Um, uh, I will pass on that. They all walk to the local bar that's down the street. Oh. I have needed this break. This has felt nice. Ugh. Hey, Seb, why don't you go and uh, get us some food? Drinks. Sure, what do you want? Something tall, something strong, and something hot to go along with it. Nice. I would... that. Very well. Seb walks over to the uh, to the bar to order uh, food and then drink. Avery stretches out her legs and puts them up. Oh my god. I think we need a long vacation once we get everyone back. Course is just on edge the entire time as he's like looking around the bar, tapping his finger on the table. You also are the such. 
Yeah. Uh, Severus returns to the group. Uh, here, it's the strongest beers they have. Oh, delicious. <clears throat> I've heard that their strong brew stuff here is amazing. Mm. Okay. Well, it's time to find out. Yep. To live long, prosper, and whatever the other shit we toast to. Agreed? Agreed. <sighs> and they all clink their glasses together and take one giant swig. Mm. <clears throat> oh. Strong. Shut up. <sighs> I am just glad we can take a break and we can live a little and we can just breathe and relax. And would you stop the tapping? There is nothing going on here. We are on vacation, essentially. That's the reason why I am <clears throat> unable to relax, okay? <sighs> Corsair, if something was gonna happen, I'd know. True. Sub has that, uh, that weird thing where he sees the future, correct? Yep. Mm, yeah, sure. And I can, dodge, I can dodge. Mm -hmm. So I could just push you out of the way the moment he says something. Well, that doesn't stop me from worrying about him, okay? He's still out there. Okay. So, yeah. We still have to deal with Brexus. Brexus is going to be a pain in our ass till the end of time. Uh, it's just going to be there. Look what the cat's dragged in. Why do I recognize <laughs> that voice? Oh, Damien. Yes. Pleasure uh, to see you. Oh, uh, Nessie, it's a pleasure to see you again. How's your father been? <laughs> Dead, like he has been for almost a decade now. Yeah, no shit. So, what is the... How do I put this lightly? Ah, screw it. How is a half-breeded freak like yourself doing? <laughs> Absolute. Best time of my life right now, Damien. And how's about a stuck-up asshole like you doing here? You'd break a nail, you know. Uh, I wouldn't be the one to talk about breaking nails, Nessie. Considering the last time I saw you break a nail, you looked like you were almost in goddamn tears. <laughs> that was also when I was a kid. I'm captain of my ship now, and what are you? Just a little deck boy? <laughs> Takes a sip of her beer. <laughs> you little son of a... <sighs> you know what? Nah. I don't need to deal with this. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my night. And I'm not going to let you three little failures. Or as I like to call the three stooges. Or better yet known as the celestial howl. Do whatever the fuck you three little shits do. I am going to enjoy the rest of my night now. Ta-ta for now. Go have fun killing babies. Ugh. He seems like a delightful guy. Yeah, he's been a Man. thorn in my side since I was younger. Man, I wish I had a round or two with him. I think <sighs> my fist would really appreciate it. Oh, you never ran into him, did you, Sab? You weren't in the crew yet. Backstory. 
backstory on Damien years ago, and I think Corsair, you've only f- met him once, but never liked him. No, <sighs> uh, so back when my father had the ship still, when he was still alive, Damien, uh, Damien's not much younger than I am, or older than I am. He's around my age. He showed up at the ship randomly. My father refused to allow him in because he's full ferial. His parents apparently work for the king. He, for all we know, can be a spy. And my father refused him at that time. Well, a few years ago, he came back. This was after... um. No, Brexus was still there. Yeah, this is when I first became a captain. He just showed up randomly again because he had heard that I was captain now and asked the same thing if he could join. I refused then because I don't want a f- possible spy on my ship. I have enough to deal with with Brexus. So yeah, thorn in my side, pain in the ass. We've had a few run-ins with his crew ever since. They always try to get our drops before we can get them. But of course, we're better equipped. So yeah. Mm. This is delicious cake. Mmm. Well, you know what? Yeah. You see, he just pours it just down his drink in one go and just slam it on the table. And he goes, Yeah, you don't want. It. Why not? Let's just try to not focus on whatever the fuck's going on. And enjoy the night, yeah. Let's get drunk, boys. I'm all for it. This is it, Corsair. If you're buying. <laughs> Time. No, it's your turn. No, it was me. No, it was me. It was, it was me. me. It was time. me. No, totally me. <sighs> Actually, it was me. <sighs> yeah, you know what? You could buy the drinks today, sir. <laughs> no, he did buy last time. Oh, that was means... he? Oh, damn it. It's us. Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. Yep. Get three more. Barkeep! Three more! They bring over three more beers. <laughs> Alright. Whoever knocks out first buys the next round. <laughs> You're on. Always. Um, you and you just see Corsair just begins to down his... <laughs> Nastaria downs hers also. Deborah also downs his. They all drop their glasses on the table. Alright. Okay. Marty, three more, uh, please. Go. Uh, three more. No, make it six. <laughs> I'm not losing tonight. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, oh. Oh, okay, now I can feel why is they call this the strong stuff. Ooh. Yeah, that's got some kick to it. Next round, guys. <laughs> Next round. Yep, one more barkeep. <laughs> no, 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 you're drinking too. We're drinking too. If uh... one's not enough, we'll have to down two. Okay, let's go. All right. All three of them proceed to drink the doubles that they were given. And at this point, Corsair is about to fall out of his seat. Hit. <laughs> and he just drops. Uh, fuck. 
All right. Okay, if it, if it, this was all me. Severus uh, lets out a laugh before he drops out of his seat because he sees it happen and then laughs again when it does happen. <laughs> <laughs> Ness, Ness is just holding Ness is holding on to the table just dying of laughter watching both of them on the ground Jesus Christ so, no, we can't lose we can't lose to her come on come on, come on. I <laughs> just, standing there watching, just standing there watching from afar just like huh, this will be easy I win <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you bastard. <laughs> no, we can't hear him. <laughs> oh, I have a little bit of my drink left. Shall I down it and win this challenge? When do you have to finish your cup? You're a cheater. <laughs> uh, Nestaria finishes it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ugh. I'M STILL STANDING! <laughs> oh, I'm regretting Should we attack? <laughs> <laughs> you go pay. We'll attempt to start going towards the ship. Seb! I thought you said we couldn't come drunk. Uh, do, as, do as I say, not as I do. Okay? okay. <laughs> uh, of course, e uh, Let's... Oh, God. Bob, can you... <laughs> you like, I just dropped, like, a random amount on the table and like, we will you keep the change? <laughs> Ace M, help me up. Uh, Seb has us on either side of him, holding on to him. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, yo, oh, a pirate's oh, life oh, for oh, me. Oh, <laughs> Shave his belly with a rusty razor. Shave his <laughs> belly with a rusty Whose belly are we shaving tonight, I guess? Um, I'm the Indian guy. Up, up, up. I pray uh, it's not me. Uh, Suddenly, uh, even through his drunken stupor, uh, Severus senses... Uh, something and just stops. Oh, uh, right. sad. So, 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 something, something's wrong. What? Uh, uh, it's... Of course, something's wrong. We drank all night. Uh, yeah. I'm no, gonna... no, something else. There's a something else. Oh, what could it be? We start to hear thumps oh. from behind us. Oh, how cute. People, yeah. All of a sudden, Seb and Corsair are dragged. Uh, excuse me, what? Nastaria jumps out of the way. Jesus, fuck! What the uh, hell? I knew this would be easier than I actually thought. Get off of them! Nestoria unsheaths her sword and attempts to go at the creature that's currently beating the shit out of Severus and Corsair. <coughs> she stabs the thing in the shoulder with her sword and gets yeeted by his arm and hits the wall and falls. Oh. 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 
She tries to get up. That's when Damien starts to come forward. You know, initially I thought this would be a little bit more difficult. But considering the three of you are drunk off your asses, it made it quite a lot easier for me and my uh, little uh, play thing here. <laughs> <laughs> So, I really do hate to uh, end this off a little earlier than I thought, Ness, but it's no hard feelings, but I kind of need you. Proceeds to knock Ness out. <laughs> Three of them are out on the ground, out cold. All right, Bob, my beautiful giant. Take these three to the cell, please. The big science experiment shakes his head and proceeds to drag the three pirates. An unknown amount of time passes. And Corsair starts to wake up in an unknown area that he's never seen before. Bloody hell. Oh, my head. Oh, my chest. Where the fuck? Astoria, Seb, come on, wake up, both of you. Fuck, they tied my arms. Um, he crawls towards where they are and tries to like nudge them, see if he can get any reaction. Ah, god damn it, Seb. You said you had that stupid, and he kicks him. <laughs> ah! What was that for? Good morning to you too, fucker. Ah, I you had your ability to have to bring. Ah, look around you. Where are we? Ah, your guess is as good as mine. How did we get here? I don't know. Last thing I remembered was being pushed aside while we were talking. You said something about not something, right? God, this migraine. Shit, the captain's bleeding. Uh. Um, I'll try to wake him up. Uh, Seb tries to shake Nessie awake. Um, five more minutes. Well, at least she's okay. And he just gives her like, a quick kick on the sheen. Ow! The what? Fuck, what was... Okay, good, now we're all awake. Why am I? Where are we? Good morning, we? you three. Glad to see the little rats have awoken. <clears throat> you know, it was pretty stupid of you three to get drunk in the bar that I was in. Maybe if you didn't get drunk around my sights, Maybe you would not have been captured like this. Damien. 
<laughs> the one and only, dear. Okay. What's going on, Damien? Oh, uh, wouldn't you like to know? <clears throat> well, someone who thought to be so honorable capturing a bunch of drunkards in the middle of the night doesn't seem so quite fitting on the title. Amy. <laughs> a spit at the side of his boots. Now, why don't you release me real quick? Then I can show you a real fight. Mm. Uh, nah, I don't think I'm going to do that. Would. But you two, I do kind of need. He points so. at Severus and Astaria. <clears throat> you see, Captain. I was given a job by uh, a good person you may know to, uh, let's say, take care of you all. And by that, I mean your head, Ness. They want your head. So I'm going to fulfill that for them. If you don't mind. Now, get over here. He proceeds to grab Ness and Seb by their hair and drag the both of them out of the cell. Okay. Closer tries oh. to um, fight back, but there's like a sharp pain in his chest and legs as he kind of crumbles. It's like, shit. <laughs> get out, bring it back. Me. Get off. He proceeds to punch Ness in the face. You. She spits out on blood onto his boots. Seems to punch her one more time. I wouldn't do that again if I were you. Especially if you know what's good for you. They're dragged off into another room, leaving Corsair all alone. <clears throat> Damien proceeds to strap them both into a chair. with leather straps. Okay. So, Ness. There are a couple of things I want to know. First off, that ship of yours. It's not docked at where the station it would normally be. That was in English, but we're going to run with it. But your ship is not docked at the usual place. So I would like to know where that is. And if I don't tell you... Uh, let's just say there may be a bit of a punishment for uh, you and your buddy here. Hmm. I don't think you have the guts to do anything. Proceeds to slap Ness. <laughs> Just know, uh, that's not the only thing I will do. Your slaps are sissy. He proceeds to pick up a dagger 
off of a small table. What did you just say? You don't even know how to use that thing. Takes the dagger and proceeds to cut. That's his forearm. Okay. <laughs> the ship is set in orbit. It's not docked anywhere. And it's cloaked. They were to wanna get rid of that cloak, per se. How would I go about it? Go fuck yourself. He takes the dagger and stabs it into her hand. Ah! Fuck! I'm only going to ask you this one more time. There's, it's electrical. An electrical current would stop the cloak. Okay. <clears throat> And you. Seb, your name is... Is there anything you would like to tell me about? Make me. <laughs> <laughs> so be it. Damien proceeds to step to a corner of the room. And picks up... A branding iron that was set inside in a fireplace. The eye, the branding iron is red hot. You know, I really didn't want to do this, but I'll be a little bit fair with you and ask you, one more time. Who was all on that ship? Why don't you unstrap me from this chair and we'll see how, how good your, your branding iron gets you. He proceeds to take the branding iron and force it into his side ah. as hard as possible to make the burn deep. Astaria fights her straps. Stop! Let go of him! Stop! Yes. Be a deer. And shut your mouth. Fuck you. If you want to hurt that, if you want to hurt me, go ahead, do it. But leave my crew out of it. Fine. Fair enough then. Hearing the screams um, coming from the, the room across, Constance has just kind of looked around the room quickly. Uh, and, um, he goes to one of the, um, he goes to one of the bottles that have been, like, broken up on the, um, sides of the room, and begins to, like, try to cut himself from the same room. You should be clean up, you fucking idiot. And he's, like, trying his best to sever the, um, 
Rook stands, bound his arms, and goes, oh, easier than I thought. Oh, I'll take a pen, you've gotten sloppy. As he tries to meet around the cell, see if he can, you know, see if the door is unlocked. Is the cell door unlocked? He pushes past the room and continues to sneak forward, um, grabbing a empty bottle with him. <clears throat> Bloody hell, this place is a mess. Where are you? Where are you? And he proceeds to sneak into the room where he had heard the screams. We go back to Damien, Nastaria, and Severus. Oh. I'm getting sick and tired of you two not telling me the truth. Well, get used to it. Fine then. Damien proceeds to grab Ness by the hair after taking her restraints off, dragging <gasps> her over to a to a water bucket with what appears to be a bag. Ness fights against him. Fuck you! Get off me! Damien proceeds to punch her in the jaw. <gasps> Damien, stop this. Severus is struggling against his restraints, but it isn't doing anything. Why should I? I have no need to stop. And if you ask me, I'm having quite a pleasurable time with this. He proceeds to put the bag over Nessie's head. No! He takes the he takes the water bucket, and proceeds to pour a bu a quarter of the bucket of water over her head. She can't breathe very well in the in the bag, nearly suffocating. She struggles against him. to hit her again. Severus is still struggling against his restraints, but he, uh, because of one, the uh, still being slightly drunk and two, uh, just being branded, it's not, it's not doing anything. He can't get out. Seeing as Damien is attempting to drown Ness, Making his way into the room as quietly as he can, he notices that Cerberus has well been like his side. The red hot mark is still there, and so he tries to go quietly behind him, takes the bottle, holds it by the neck, and just like, <clears throat> bro, I think you need a drink. Uh, right before he turns, he smashes the bottle onto his head. Ah! <sighs> Damien drops to the ground, dropping Ness with him. Oops. She rips the bag off her head. <sighs> Good morning. She... You is he, um, was there trying to, like, cut your bindings with the broken bottle? You know, subtlety isn't my specialty. That's uh, for my brother. Uh, you could have been a little bit faster. <laughs> I had to find trash to cut my way out. 
and lo and behold, where he lives is where he is. Just full of trash. All right, Seb, you good? Not exactly. The question is before the Pope as he proceeds to cut through, you know, out of your vines too. Come on. Up you go. Ah. Ness so, limp, so. limps Ness limps over to them. You good, Seb? No. <sighs> Let's get you patched up in your ship. Hopefully this <sighs> little you know dingy lifeboat that he has. Hold on, before we leave, one for good measure, as he like walks over to Daniel's body. Gives it a really death kick, launching him across like a bit of the room, and I was like, "Okay, now we head out. Bitch. Now let's go." They slowly make it through the ship, trying to be as quiet as possible. Oh my god! See it? Do we have a way off this thing? That look on the side. A lifeboat. Oh, just Thank God. Inches. Lifeboat's good. Yeah. It's I think he broke my jaw. Uh, everything hurts inside and out, so... Yeah. <laughs> they climb into the lifeboat together, and Corsair slowly drops them into... The atmosphere to be able to fly off in the lifeboat. Beberus is li lying down in the lifeboat, uh, about to pass out from pain. Ness is sitting next to him. Uh, While well, Corsair is still driving the boat, he just goes, Next time we see. Anyone related to your father, please just let me at them. You have full permission to do that. Perfect. Also, you're buying next drink. I'm fine with that. I think I'm gonna need like 12. I don't think the bottom minister would like it, but. Mm. They drive off into the sunset. Quite literally. Yeah. Damien starts to wake up on the ground in the torture room. Uh, what? What the hell happened? Uh, uh, oh no. Oh god. Oh, they got away. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. <sighs> Damien proceeds to run out onto the deck of his ship. Uh, where are they? Where are they? He notices the one lifeboat missing. Damn it! Fuck. Well, well, well. Looks like you fucked up again, Damien. <clears throat> Catalina and her troops come forward. Um, so, what do you have to say for yourself? I was doing what you wanted. I must have gotten hit in the back of the head or something. Oh, I can tell. They bested you again. And all I asked was for her head. 
And then instead, you proceeded to play with them. He goes silent. Men, get him on his knees. Wait, her, no, her, please. Her men proceed to take a hold of him. Please. I I'm begging you, please. Don't. I'm tired of playing games. I want her head. And you didn't provide it for me. She proceeds to unsheath her sword. And all you could give me was nothing. The sound of a sword swipes the air as everything fades to black. And that is seen! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> I'm fucking dead again. <laughs> Maybe. Dun, yeah. dun, dun. <laughs> Oh, oh no. Mick Mick is angry. <laughs> no, what the hell? Mick Mick is angry. Well, you'll have to wait for the series proper, uh, Mick Mick. Uh, yeah. I'm going to jail. <laughs> I got crippling depression. <laughs> I got osteoporosis. I got osteoporosis. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love cliffhangers because it opens up as a storyteller. And I love making stories. It allows me to essentially give an open end. So if I say want to continue the story in the future, I can. And of course, The Celestial Howl is an actual series. As everyone was uh, hinting at, yes, 100% this is going to be a, an audio series on my YouTube channel. I'm in the process of writing the scripts. We have one, actually we have two written, one completely recorded. I just have to edit everything together. And I have everyone's lines, which is amazing. So that's going to be a fun time. Um, but yeah, this series is going to be coming out so that everyone knows this takes place a week before episode one. So you kind of get the timeline, but it's uh, super fun. Um, anyone else have any thoughts on this? I am. Yeah, um, that is another thing. Uh, drunk stream will be on later on this evening. We're gonna be doing two streams yeah. today. Uh, we are going to be doing Drunk Among Us, which should be a hoot for Unfortun everyone. Unfortunately, I won't be able to keep my title of stream drunk <laughs> this time. Yeah, no, I unfortunately, I don't have Among Us or alcohol, so. I will carry the torch for you. You better get the torch back next time, though. I'll pass it back after you. I just want to feel the warmth of the thing. Yeah, so that that will be fun. It, it's going to be a fun time. We have a bunch of people who are coming in. Um, so it will be an interesting time. Um, I have to come out with rules for yes. that because... Oh, yeah. Uh, to give a little clue... Um, Val no not only has church, <laughs> he also has a DD session. Um <laughs> he 
<laughs> it's going to uh, go right off the rails. Good luck. Let us know. Let me. Let me know how it goes. Yeah. Tell us. Uh, tell us how your church experience goes, Val. Actually, please. but we are all in the D and D group, so we can all watch that D and D session if we're still yeah. alive. Yeah. I know well, well, I will be. What? What time is that session be, at? It is oh, it's time. late. It's late for you. Um, uh, it's uh nine thirty p.m. CST. So, uh, okay, hang on. I need to read this. Look, Jesus made water into wine. Drink all you'd like, Val. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Jesus said, said yes. yes. <laughs> Jesus did say hydrate or dehydrate. So, I will do exactly that. Um, tonight also, uh, I do really appreciate that people didn't spam the bits and stuff, uh, and the points because that does make it easier for us when we're doing improv. But tonight, please go all out. Please, for the love of God. Um, all the points, things will count towards any of us. So all you have to do, I'm going to be making it where all you have to do is when you go to activate one of the points things, type in the name of the person you want to be affected. And that means drunk or not drunk. I will have a list of all the players <laughs> of the people who are playing, as well as the links. Will everyone's links will be floating around through Nightbot? So please, definitely come and join, and come definitely come and fuck us over with our drunkenness. Um, yeah, I'm actually kind of glad Zeta doesn't. <laughs> drink tonight because he can be he can be the uh non-drunk uh moderator because i'm pretty sure james is getting drunk so that means he'll be uh out for the count <laughs> yep that'll be fun um i'm trying to think of anything else going on um we are having events on the server definitely if you're not a part of the server definitely come and join um, we will be heading up to general after this. So if anyone has any questions concerning Celestial Howl lore, I will be available as well as if you want to ask any questions to any of us who are voicing characters in the series, definitely meet us there. Uh, <laughs> Galaxy is yelling. The server is awesome. Join now. Yes. We we try to make it as fun as possible. Again, we are a family. Come join our crew. Uh we will be planning the next improv session, which is da 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 part three of the Sanguin uh Yay. House Sanguinas. Yeah. We're all I'm reprising excited. our roles. I'm, um, I'm excited for that one. Let's get it. We have our Mr. Himbo, uh Emmett here. Hi. We have our uh, small little hunter boy, Connor. <laughs> and we have, of course, uh, Phoenix and my character, Nessie, as well as my character, Avery. All of us will be together. Yes. Um, it will be a fun time. Um, trying to think of anything else. Phoenix discover if he has a dad or not. We'll see. Dun, dun, dun. Um, there was recently the audio for House and Guinness uh, on our channels. Definitely go and check those out. Yes. Um, links to all of us are floating around, so definitely go check that series out. Um, we will all be coming out with new audios soon. I know Zeta regularly drops audios and... I'm going to be dropping an audio probably next week or the week after. I've got a finale uh, something coming up in the uh, next, next few Friday. days. Yep. Zeta, repeat, repeat, repeat. I've got a finale to one of my series on Friday. Uh, yeah. So so definitely go check out him. Uh, his links are floating around. Uh, and uh, Phoenix is also... I've been helping him write stuff, so... He'll be coming out with stuff soon. So definitely check all of us out. Um, <clears throat> anything else I can think of? Be sure to support all of my friends or a gray-skinned man will come and waterboard you tonight. 
and brand you. And, and brand, brand you. and stab you in a hand and in the hand. You. And stab you in the hand. And he punch will be you quite multiple hand- times. <laughs> yes. And send good experiments to keep you. Basically just fun- just be sure to support everyone, or a gray man will beat the shit out of you tonight. <laughs> exactly. So again, have a wonderful day, everyone. Uh, stay safe. Be definitely looking out for the next uh, improv session as well as um, the next uh, alert saying that we're doing drunk stream. Um, I won't be advertising that as much. It will be around 6 p.m. CST. So we're looking at in about three hours. Um, again, Come join us in general. We will be there for a little bit. I know some of us want to go rest for a bit, while others of us will be there to answer questions. Um, have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Stay hydrated. And bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye.